Cuban Drug Act, Drug Act in 1906. Norris wrote The Octopus in 1901, a fictional book that still exposed railroads as monopolies taking advantage of people in California. Soon after, railroad monopolies in Northwest were broken up after the ruling in Northern Securities versus United States. Not all muckrakers were writers, however. Okay, we had seen that with uh, George Waring already, but also Thomas Nast. Thomas Nast is the, known as the father of the American cartoon having created satirical art during the 19th century that critiqued slavery and crime. Nast was born in Germany in 1840, but moved his family to New York City when he was six. Nast did poorly in school, preferring drawing to schoolwork. He landed his first illustration job when he was just 15 and later joined the staff of Harper's Weekly. While there, he led a crusade against corruption and helped bring down Boss Tweed, we saw this yesterday, and the corrupt Tammany Hall political machine. Mark Rakers also sought to raise awareness of poverty and other social ills associated with industrialization. Jacob Rees, who we saw two days ago, a Danish immigrant and photojournalist, published a photo essay called How the Other Half Lives, studies among the tenements of New York in 1890. The photos documented the harsh living conditions of recent immigrants in New York City and inspired reforms as the New York Tenement House Act of 1901, which required tenement housing to be cleaner, safer, and more spacious. Okay. So one thing that I recognize about the progressive era is there's a lot of names, there's a lot of people, and a lot of eighth graders, and even sometimes myself, just have trouble matching up names to what they did, okay? Do you need to know years from now? Do you need to know years from now exactly what these people did? No. But I think it's very important to know that these particular people, these particular muckrakers, helped expose and change society in a very big way. So a lot of what today is us going back and kind of matching up what these particular people do. Now, you're going to use the reading we just did together, and you're also going to use this chart here. You could use either of the two to help you answer these 10 questions, okay? So some of these questions can be found in the chart. Some of these questions can be found in the reading. I assure you, you do not need to look up the answers. Everything is here for you. All right, you're going to take your time. You're going to answer these 10 questions. Maybe at the end, if there's some time, we'll go over them. But you're going to try and answer these 10 questions um, as quickly and as well as you can. Um, what I would ask is I shared a Google Doc that has the answer key right here. You're just going to put the answers right here. So once you see the question for number one, restate the question in your answer and answer it here. You have a full 30 minutes to work on this, so I shouldn't see lazy answers. I shouldn't just see, you know, one-word answers. You should be restating your answer in your question, like in ELA, and answering the questions from there. You have plenty of time to do it. Wait, wait. We say what we're doing. What are we answering for? I'm sorry. What are you answering for? The questions that are at the bottom of the assignment. Oh, Okay. All right, so question one, whose corruption did the cartoons of Thomas Nash explode? You would write in the, you know, for number one here, the, um, the political cartoons exposed whatever. Okay, and then you're going to get the answers there. All right, so you guys are on your own for the rest of the period. I'll be here to help, obviously, and taking attendance. Are there any questions before you get started? I got a nope. No. All right. You guys are good to get started. I'll be here if you have any questions.